Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to use the recently bought Johnsbo N5. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, I made a video about it here. In this video, I'm going to build a very big server, 120 terabyte server or something like that. It's sitting right there, ready for us to build. So I say we get started. All right, so let's take a look at the parts we're going to be using. I have a 600 watt gold rated power supply. That'll do just fine for this build. Then I have just a small SSD that we'll be running the Linux image on to get the server up and running. We got a AM4 motherboard with a um, AMD uh, chip with integrated graphics. We got dual channel 32 gigabytes of memory. And then we have a HPA to connect all of the disks, um, which is, this is a PV1, it's great. And then we have 12 hard drives, um, that is 10 terabytes each, I believe. Yes, 10 terabytes each. And we will be mounting them with the included John's bow like uh, bracket holder thing. Um, so just like that, I think I'll get started mounting this on all of the drives and I'll see you in a bit. So just like so, we have 12 hard drives times 10 terabytes, so 120 terabytes, all uh, mounted with the brackets. I think I'm ready to move this aside and then go ahead and put a motherboard and a power supply inside of this case now. So I'll do that. All right, so just before I go ahead and put in the power supply, I did go ahead and mount up the uh, power connections to the backplane here, as well as for SATA cables just to make sure that I can actually get them mounted before I put this in. Because if I put this in, it will restrict the um, amount of space I have to work with. So I did that and now I'm gonna go put it, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. All right, so I just finished up putting in the power supply and the motherboard. I did some cabling and we actually have power to the board as well. I wired up this fan that's sitting here and I did some uh, front header and USB 3.0 wiring and I made it ready for an SSD. So I think I'm gonna put in that SSD and then we will maybe flip it around and then go ahead and add this card right here so that we can finally add the rest of these cables to the back plane that are inside of the case. So let's do that. All right, so as you can see here guys, every single uh, data cable has been wired up. We are getting ready to insert the HPA into the motherboard. So I'm gonna head and do that right now. All right, one server almost complete. We have the HBA in, we have the power for the HBA, and we have three of the connectors needed to actually get the data to the disks. And just like so, I think I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna install these fans, and then we'll get ready to insert all 12 hard drives. Now, just before I install the fans here in the exhaust part of the drive base, I want to just mention a few words about the fan connectors here, because if you can see in here, it says fan right there. Um, so that means that the backplane actually has a fan connector. So you can connect the fans to the backplane. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. You could also use the motherboard, but I actually prefer this one. All right, so the fans are wired up, but it just I just realized that there's a lot of cables in here and these fans are completely exposed. So a cable could get caught in this. So I went through my old hardware and I did actually find two fan grills. Now this is not included in the case, but I thought it was a good idea to put them on just to protect the wires that are in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so almost everything is wired up now. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take off the front panel here and get ready to insert all of the nice hard drives inside of the cages. So let's do that. And just like that, you're looking at 100, 120 terabytes of raw storage. Honestly, I think this looks absolutely incredible. The amount of storage in such a neat and compact case, it's just amazing. Now the size just went up, uh, no, not the size, sorry, the weight 
of the whole thing just went up like five time, times over and it's super heavy now but honestly this looks great i think we should put the top back on the case and then we should fire it all up all right so i got the server hooked up i did not quite put the front panel on yet i want to see all of these just come to life i know you can't see it but it's just nice to see and i also want to feel the airflow going on um i'm gonna go ahead and just turn on at the power supply here let's do that and then moment of truth Holy shit, okay, crazy. I actually feel quite a good amount of airflow and we can see some LEDs flashing here. I would have liked that they had all 12 LEDs, like they only have LEDs for the front one, for the, the eight ones here. These ones do not have LEDs, I think that's a shame. Now I can see that we are initializing here, so we'll just have to wait and see. And it is initializing all of the disks. That's nice. And I think we're booting. And just like that, we've booted up into Ubuntu. I'm just gonna go ahead and check that every disk is there and I'll be right back. All right, and just like that, we can see all 12 10 terabyte hard drives. These are old refurbished uh, NetApp drives. They are SAS drives. So that means that this case will run fine with SAS drives as long as you have the correct SAS adapter uh, running and you do the, the wiring the normal way, you should be just fine installing SAS adapters. The backplane that John's post made here is compatible with SAS drives. So that's, that's great. I think that's awesome. And we can see 120, by, uh, 120 terabytes of raw storage. I think that's quite cool. Now the, the fans here in the back, they do actually make a substantial amount of airflow. I will show you just in a minute. Um, but I do think I might change it out with Noctua just because they are also very loud. I've heard other people saying that as well. But just to show you the airflow, it's really, really great as you can see. And it's even better down here. Yeah, so definitely might consider changing that out, but I'm very, very happy with this case. I think it's an amazing case and it looks really good and you can fit so much storage in it. I have many more plans for this case. So if you want to stick for the journey, go ahead and leave a subscribe. And if you like the video, consider liking it. Otherwise, have a great day. See you guys.